Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are continuing our Veil of Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer version 5. The third last video, guys. Not quite the penultimate, the penultimate, penultimate video, if that makes any sense, which it doesn't at all. Uh, but yeah, we are continuing as Darwinian. Now, there's two things that I want to do. I want to get done pretty much before we finish this series once and for all. And that, of course, is the Siege of the Black Gate, which Norway is on the way for. Three more turns for that. And secondly, of course, it is taking Barad Dur. We do have this battle to do, but uh, unfortunately we, we can't. <laughs> oh, wait, we can. We probably could. If we sent these boys out to fight it. Problem here being is AI ordering and everything like that. Whether they're going to bring any uh, troops in. I think Captain Lugseach or whatever will come and attack us though. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. I'd rather take the defensive. Are we building everywhere? Looks very much like it. Let's go. Probably not Rawberg. Yep, not Rawberg. Rawberg will remain a little peasant hovel until the end of the game, it seems. <laughs> or until at least the end of when we stop playing. But, uh, guys, if you do want to access this save, I will be putting it up there on the Discord. So, do check it out. Check out the Discord, which will be down in the description below. If you do want to check out this save... That'd be really cool. But let's press the end turn. Let's see where we're getting to. I just wanted to cover Edra Khan. That's the name of it. I couldn't remember it last time. Uh, but Edra Khan. There we are. Edrai Khan. Edrai Chan? Edrai? Well, a DH is a th. Uh, I think it's Edrai Khan. I don't know. Someone who can speak Elvish. Let me know. <laughs> I mean, they haven't taken Karas Galathon. I, I think they did. Did they not? Uh, well, they at least incurred the wrath of the Doomstack. So, God, Lothlorien in the hands of the AI is, is honestly so useless. I thought this might happen as well. Now, this should be relatively good for us. What archers do we have? We've got you, three, and a crossbowman, and the Avari Naharim. Oh, this is going to be a juicy little battle. A juicy battle, I've got to say. Let's do the V formation, I think, for this one. So let's get out there, guys, and let's see how little men we can lose while we slaughter these orcs. Here we are, and I always forget that it goes straight on. So let's pause for a second. I know it's uh, a little bit cheap, but whatever. Don't want to get in the range of their towers, of course. Uh, let's just play... Who's still holding? You guys. Drop. Let's play. Pause. Right then. This is the main thing. We are going to do a little V formation. It's a bit of a cheeky formation. If you've never seen it before, you will enjoy this. You will enjoy this. So the AI tends to like to fight your melee troops because they are your melee troops. <laughs> So, you can do this little cheeky V formation. Have your archers sort of in the middle, say, here. A bit further back. Firing straight down the middle. Let's make sure all those boys are running. Uh, we'll also get, say, the elven boys on this side as well. And we'll get the Darwinian infantry, actually, on the other side. Cavalry is not really too necessary right now. But we will have the Avari Naharim over here firing over their heads. Kind of like a second line of cavalry on that side. We'll also get you over here. We do have Edwardin though. Edwardin, you are a man and a half, aren't you? The man who uh, leads elves in battle. Who would have thought? Well, what we'll do, we'll have these little guys here ready to fire uh, either side of the V kind of like an extra little bit of V. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, and, yeah. We'll do that. And then if they decide to try and charge the archers, we will screw them. I think it's probably best if you guys go there. They'll also hopefully be able to fire up and across. 
Uh, you guys get running. I don't know why you're struggling so much. There we are. <gasps> Here come the wargs. Okay. That was not quite as expected. Uh, looks like we might not be able to get into position in time. Hopefully we can. Hopefully we can just, like, scare them off. They do have trolls. I didn't realize that. You guys get there. Fire at the trolls. Archers. Let's get you on guard mode. If you can... Fire at the trolls. If you can't, you'll have to fire at whoever you want. God, you guys were a long way away, weren't you? What do we have? We do have chemical shadow knights. We need to be slightly scared of those. But yeah, let's make sure we're firing. Make sure you're firing at the trolls, man. Like, <laughs> Fire at the trolls. 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 They're trying to like set up like they're going for a battle. Don't care about that. That's actually great for me. Uh, which is good. And you guys can now get your spear wall in. Okay, Thorn Crossbowman. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let's get this. Get back. Go, 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 go. We need you firing, my friends. The Avari Naharim firing. Yes, they are. And also, any shots that miss the trolls should just be killing more and more men. They're still getting men out, look. We could have gone and pressurized them a little bit more, but I don't think it's too necessary. Goblin Striders, they are shredding these boys quite a bit. Well then, if you're going to do that, I know we're going to take a bit of a, a bit of a battering from the from the walls. But there's actually no towers over here. It's not too bad. Let's get rid of those Goblin Striders then if we can. I mean, these guys, where are they going? <laughs> well, we've scared them off for now. <laughs> so don't need to worry about that for now. In fact, we should probably slightly pull you guys back. And uh, are they going to come and, and fight? Or are they going to just stand there doing nothing? I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Speed it up. Yeah, all the trolls are now dead. Good. You guys just fire at what you want. They're probably good out of your range anyway now. Merkwadorex. Okay, well, it didn't work. The V did not work like I expected. Normally works a bit better with smaller armies. With such a big army, it looks like they just want to, you know, kind of put everything together. Uh, fire at the Castellans now. I mean, if the if we'd have failed with the trolls, then uh, we would have had the Javis ready to fire. So that's quite good. Fire down the middle, my friends. Looks like we're not, you know, it's not working that well. <laughs> These are just standard Mercadorix. Oh, we've got the Javis firing away now. Got to be wary of those Castellans. Not great unit to uh, go and fight. Oh, here come the boys. All right, let's go. Let's kill these wags. Kill those wags actually first. Come on, if you catch them, that'll be good. Fantastic. Now comes the Dolgador host. They are trying to flank us, so... Let's get our javies in there. We're also getting javelined. Okay, we've run out of ammo there now. And I think we should... Yeah, you boys fire your javies. We'll have the Avari Naharim charge in. Should be able to kill these wargs pretty easily. We've got Privateer cavalry and everything. And Edwarden's unit, of course. Right, guys, out. Now we're going to go take out their boys. You guys get here. Go, go, go. Uh, anywhere that's a bit thin on the line? I don't think so. Right, we'll just fill this gap now because we are just firing randomly with our archers. So, in fact, let's get the archers, like, up there so they can fire a little bit better. We'll kill those goblin stalkers. You guys fire at them. Right, we're going to go kill the goblin headhunters. They're actually a decent unit. Does have Camel Shadow Rangers here as well. Well, this has been a quite a drawn-out cavalry fight, but looks like we've won. Camel Shadow Guard did get in on the action. So, yeah, we've got to be, uh, you know, careful with those. These boys should have no problems whatsoever. Right, let's get into the Mirkwood Oryx. Kill the Castellans. Are you still firing? Come on, fire. Go, charge, men, charge. Jesus, why are you so far away? Did we kill them? Looks like we're still fighting, apparently. The three Goblin Striders are still okay. Wow, really? 
Everyone else is kind of a bit scared, but not them, apparently. That was the worst charge I've ever seen, my guy. You literally just charged in. <laughs> Sorry, walked in and did nothing. Okay, the Castlands of Dolgador are actually falling quite nicely. Let's get rid of them then. Let's get there. We can fire at whoever we want. Uh, let's go after the Headhunters again. When we're done with these boys, the Kamul Shadow Guard, are they coming for a bit of a bit of a tasty bit of action as well? Yes, they have. Good, our cavalry is just superior right now. I know it's not the best cavalry in the game, but honestly, you know, with Edwardin's unit, you can kind of do whatever you want. Like, <laughs> they're crazy. Did we get them routing? No, just shaken. Not stirred. Right, let's go. Should be absolutely shredding these boys now. Camel's Shadow Guard has hardly killed anyone. Like, genuinely not killed anyone. Well, here's the Mirkwood Bodyguards. They're just chilling, doing nothing. We'll get our LV boys to charge into them. Right, we finished that. Let's get uh, over here, and we'll do a couple of charges, and we should be done. Let's kill the... Uh, oh, there's a unit of 76 Goblin Headhunters there. Thing is, we just need to route them. Once we've routed them, we're fine. Yeah. Shadow Guard still doing okay, but not too bad. Not too good either. Should be routing. Good. Bodyguards are running. Get the Shadow Guard. Because, remember, this is the last turn, so we don't need to actually take the city. Would be nice if we could break those Shadow Guard, though. Come on, Edward in. Let's go. I'm going to miss seeing Edward in charging people. He's an absolute beast of a man. A beast, I tell you. A beast of a man. Looks like they had... I mean, the, the, the square's not far away, so it looks like they are kind of... Um, I'm going to bring the archers forward. They should be able to rout whoever else comes in front of us. Because the amount of calves died over here. Lots of wargs. We looks like we lost a few cav, but we actually really didn't. Not many, anyway. All right, Edward. In. Did we get the Shadow Rangers? Is that... they dead? <laughs> I can't see them. Oh, looks like we just evaporated them. <laughs> nice. What are these? I love seeing... I tell you what, I love seeing volleys of the archers. So, let's get you all off fire at will and halt for now. It's like in a, in Napoleon where... No, no, no. I said halt. Don't fire. Fire now. Everyone fire. Let's see this. Fire. Oh, rubbish. Loads of them firing up. It's like in Napoleon when you hold their uh, their fire. Really good fun. So it looks like they're just going to do that and keep coming out. So speed it up. We've absolutely evaporated them. Wow. Kind of scary. Oh, we're still fighting over here. Who are we fighting? Oh, the Castellans are still here. That's why we haven't won this yet. Wow. What a strong unit. Strong boys. Good to see Dolgador actually get some good units, though. God, the archers are just shredding, man. Shredding. Anyone that comes out just gets absolutely pummeled. <laughs> ah, glorious victory. We lost 335. Fair play to Dolgador. Did better than I expected. But some good kills there. Anyway, I will see you back on the campaign map. Glory and honor. Yes. So let's just occupy because it's pro probably pretty much one of our settlements at this point. Uh, well, they did have it for a while, so maybe it's gone back to Melkor, but I think it'll be pretty culturally ours. Um, hopefully we can take land all the way up to the Anduin and get uh, get all that land up there. I mean, I'll just accept all these guilds from now on because it's just annoying rejecting them. Uh, also, we have the money, so why would I, why would I reject them? Lots of uh, things coming in. Farming advisor, farming advisor, master smith, farming advisor. That's great. That's probably because we've built a load of farms. Uh, but Mornithel, we got some more troops. Looks like we've got enough for another army now. Why are you going that way? <laughs> uh, you guys get in. Well, these guys will all be golden as well because of their... <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Can actually retrain all those boys now. 
Anyone else got any golden boys? You've got them, which is good. Nope, no one else. Although, I, did I check Mornithel? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's fine. Did the armies run away? No, they did not. They are still here. Well, this is not the best army. Neither is this. But they're both decent armies. Uh, all three decent armies. They doesn't look like they have great beasts or anything like that. Oh! They decided to siege down Varfest. Very interesting. We can come right up to there. And they're going to get screwed. Good, 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 good. Right, Edward in. Let's see if you've got any mercenaries around. No, you don't. Who do we want to leave behind then? I mean, just the crossbowmen probably. How's Logarth? 50%. Let's repair that. What else do they have? Brawler's Pit doesn't bring us anything. Get rid of that. All the rest of this, I think, does. The Waystation. Yeah. Let's go straight for... What's the culture now? It's, pre it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, a lot of that is religious unrest. And 45% normal unrest. So let's just get that in straight away. Like I say, I don't think it'll be too much of a worry. So it'll be fine. Right, do we go for the castle, which is over here? Or do we go further north? I don't think we need to worry about further north, really. So, Edward, in, bring your beautiful army this way, my friend. Ah, we can't actually attack them. It's like Dolgador kind of wants to come and play. Right, who do we want to leave behind here? That's the other question. Probably one of the uh, Thorn Guard. And knock them back. And let's get out. It's so slow to move in here. That also is only 50%. How about a swordsman? It's only 50%. Really? Oh, well, what do we... Do we have anything in here that we don't want? I don't think so. I think we've got everything that's good. So, anything that's got happiness, I mean... That does. So does the tomb. But whatever. I, I, I don't care about unrest now. Get a watchtower in here so we can actually see what's going on. So we've got you guys all moved. You need to move into Sestore. Probably worth bringing like a few of these guys down from Tostore. Now that we like Tostore only borders one settlement that we're going to take very soon. Uh, Norway's moved. We've moved out of Logarth with Edward in. Got all these boys coming into the settlement up here. Another army ready to go. Anyone else that we want to worry about? We've got two. Oh, it's a bit annoying that we can't re retrain both those Avari shadows. But oh well. Right, let's do our building and then we'll do this next battle. So Mornithel got mines. Nice. Let's make sure we get the tomb in here because it gives a bonus on the next level to melee, I believe. When Tyrion Yara got the shipwright, let's go straight for the dockyard. Uh, Avalyn's Rest got the Avari Armory. Oh, fantastic. So, can we not build the next level? Do we need something else for the barracks? Oh, we need to be at the next... Do we need to be at the next level of city? No, we got the Avari Armory. Why can we not... Oh, we don't have the culture, I'm guessing, for the Moriquendis. That's unfortunate. Um, what is the culture on? We needed 75. Oh, I only had 68. It's actually not bad, though. That's still good. Uh, morale bonus to troops trained here. That's what it gives. Three morale extra, which is really good. Uh, Austin Eri got the tomb. Not really much else in here. Let's get the Great Hall for some extra... Free upkeep, just in case the governor doesn't have it. Ah, let's get the Avari Armory in here as well. And of course, let's train some more Elven Boyos. Why would we not? Ah, dearie me. There's a lot of Elven Boyos going free around here nowadays. Very good indeed. Dorlingvar got the Standing Stones. Yeah, very upset place, really. <laughs> oh, well. Like I say, I don't really care about the unrest. We can kind of deal with that. As we go on. Uh, you guys are coming down. Right then. 
So we're not going to do that battle because we can't. Let's do this battle in Mordor and then we can finally march on Barad-dûr successfully this time. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. So we've got Gan Alton. Oh, they do have great beats and they've got Olokai. <laughs> and more Olokai. Their general is an Olokai. <laughs> Well, we're just going to be in a big blob and try and repel them. I mean, the rest of their army is utter trash. It's just trying to kill those great beasts. We got crossbows. We do have one of the Avari spearmen. They're the ones we have to use. Do have a few archers. I do kind of want the second army. So if I retreat from that, the second army. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, I definitely want them to... So let's... Ah, uh, we can't actually... I was going to say, I'd, I'd really like to uh, to sort of uh, train them. Not train them. Uh, swap them over. But we definitely want to control this army, though. And do I want them to come in with the AI? Let's bring the AI army in. Let's see how the AI does. Probably not very well. <laughs> but I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Right. Here we are. In the darkness of Mordor once again. We have fought many a bloody battle in Mordor, haven't we, my friends? Many a bloody battle. We do have a load of crossbowmen in this army. So, maybe. Just maybe. Oh, there's a spicy meatball there. Oh, there's a spicy meatball. Do we do it? Imagine if their army was coming in from there, though. <laughs> I think we do it, you know. I want to rain fire down on those great beasts. I do not want them to be able to move. <laughs> and we'll get like 10 thorn guards all just squished into this little area. Can we get up there? That's the one question. I'm hoping we can. Come on. Get there. Uh, so we've got you. Right, the rest of you. Let's organize you properly. Get you guys. Can be all together. Uh, and then, Speary Boys, you're special. We'll keep you out. And then Cav. Uh, you proper Cav. Let's get you there. And the Avari Naharim, you have a special job to go kill trolls or Olag High, should I say. Right. Can we get up here? This is the question now. Run. Can we squeeze our whole army up here? Oh, and they're actually... Our army's coming in from this direction. Want you to be defensive, my friend. Where do you have to go to do that? You actually can. Oh, my God. This is, this is filthy. This is absolutely disgusting. But this is going to be amazing. If I can actually get these guys to path up here, that's the problem. Doesn't look like they want to, really. Get there. Crossbowman, can you get right on the edge? Edge? The edge? Can. They like a flat curve of fire, though, the crossbowman, so. Right. So, can they, like. They can't walk quite up there. They can go here, though. I think we're going to have to do this one at a time. Let's get you there. Let's get you boys there. Let's get these boys. Here, let's get these boys. These boys can go the other side. So these guys can defend, say, here. How far can you go? That's about as far as you can go. And these boys can defend here. And then these guys get you up to there. This is going to get very scary. This is going to get very messy in a second when all that this, this army comes in as well. Oh, dear. I don't think the AI is going to understand what to do. But anyway, I mean, if the AI wants to spend that army over there, I, I don't really mind. It's just a little bit annoying, but it's not too bad. Again, we'll try and get the Avari Naharim up here to try and uh, fire over. And then who do we have left? Just the general and you. You can go right to the back because we don't want to use you right away. We'll take you off fire at will as well. Come on, Mordor. Wait, we did attack Mordor, didn't we? I wonder whether I've been very dumb here and they're not actually going to attack. Let's see what happens when they join their armies together. 
If they wait down there, then I I've really screwed this up. <laughs> we do have a time limit, of course. Normally, the battles in this game are not that long, though. I feel like they will also think that they can win quite easily with their great beasts and everything. So they're just rearranging the army now. Let's see what happens once they've rearranged this army. I wonder whether we use the Avari Naharim to go and poke them into action. I think that might be the case. Might be what we have to do. Let's also have a check of this situation. Oh, where did uh, you guys didn't want to defend here, huh? Let's get there. Let's get you all on uh, guard mode now. Or spear wall, should I say. You guys get further down if you can. I know it's quite difficult. All the crossbowmen should be raining fire down on them now. Okay, it looks like they are going to have a cheeky dig at us. So, looks like uh, the AI just wants to stop. That's their defensive position. I I don't mind it. I'll, I'll accept that. So, yes. Yeah, let's just bring them. Force them to come after us. They're not going to like this. I think it will force them to come after us. So let's go. Looks like they are coming. If we just run all the way away so we're not firing at them, will they still come? Looks like they will. Let's go there. Let's get it on two times now. I do love this Med 2 music. As much as the uh, Lord of the Rings music is epic, um, like we can't play that on the channel because it will just get copyright or demonetized. So yeah, it's cool to have the, the, the Lord of the Rings music, but... Here they come. Here they come, boys. Back up the hill. Looks like they're just going to go for the right-hand side. If they do that, that's fine. I say it's not a problem. Speed it up again. No, maybe they'll come to the left as well. Oh, we've got uh, the uh, shadows are already firing now. Good. Can you go there? That might be a better position. Right. Well, what I'll do, guys, is I'll join you. Okay. Oh, uh, I was going to say, I'll join you. Defensive, my friends. Defensive. Get back here. Stay over here. Oh, dear. Well, the AI, if the AI wants to go suicide all our men, that won't be great, but <laughs> we'll have to let them. Right, boys, we'll put you on uh, guard mode so you're not firing the wrong things. And let's focus on those Oligai. Not the men. Come on, the Oligai. The Avari Naharim have actually used, like, pretty much all of their uh, arrows now. It's a bit, a bit unfortunate, but how many uh, crossbow bolts and arrows is it going to take to kill these Oligai? I feel like it's going to be quite a lot. Looks like they're not wanting to go around that way. That's I mean, is that fine? This is definitely the weaker area. But then again, we do have, like, most of our army on this side. So, in fact, you... If you guys... You guys in the spear wall. I think we go shield wall here as well. Shield wall in the spear wall? Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, they're just, re they're just reorganizing constantly. Don't really know what to do. <laughs> it's a bit exploitative, but at the same time, it's quite fun, isn't it? <laughs> and we're at that point now in the in the campaign where we just want to have a bit of fun. So let's try and kill these great beasts while we can. Look at the amount of arrows raining down on them. It's going to take so much to kill them. Here they come. You guys get there, maybe? Here comes the Oleg High, though. We're going to have to rely on the uh, elves to do as much damage as they can. Kill the great beasts. <laughs> we've pretty much used, like, so much of our ammunition already. And we've not even... Okay, we've finally killed a great beast. Good. This army is just going. We do still need to win this in the timer. That's the other thing. Got to remember. Right, go on attack mode. That's fine. I don't mind. Got attack mode. 
You start streaming out of there. Okay, we've killed killed all the great beasts. Fantastic. Anyone else we can fire at? The Olokai, then. Kill them. I mean, we killed the great beasts. We should be able to kill the Olokai not too badly. Don't think we... Have we got the range for that? I feel like we have killed an Olokai, unless that's the general. Yeah, I think that's because it's the general. We'll kill those Olokai, then. Make sure we uh, spread the love. Looks like... Uh, Looks like we're winning. Is it me or the game really slow? Yeah, I feel like shooting down there is a better option. Well, these are my actual units. Oh my god, they're already broken. Have we got any battle sounds? We do. Here come the Olokai. Oh dear. Now they're going to come around this way. That's perfect. That's what we need. Because, uh, yeah, good luck getting through the, the triple spear wall. <laughs> this game's spear wall is just so OP as well. Like, it, it's it's embarrassingly OP. <laughs> That's why all the spear units have such low stats. How are these Olokai doing? They're still alive. And they're shredding the men. Oh, dear. Well, we've killed a lot of great beasts already. All right, speed it up. I don't know what this army's doing, but whatever it's doing, it's getting shredded. Who the hell are these guys? Why are you sending the Thorn Bladesmen over there? Yeah, these Olokai are going to be a real tough cookie to crack. Okay, we've killed an Olokai. Two Olokai. Good, 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 good. Shows we've got the power to if we want. Uh, I know this is... A <laughs> I know this is kind of a... Kind of a bit gamey, but it's quite fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's just fun. Whimsically just killing these guys. Right, shoot that Olokai. Come on. Wrong people to shoot at. We've got perfect view here. Perfect view. Right, you get with the rest of our cav over here. Well, we don't need you for the Great Beast anymore, guy. So let's get you potentially in range of those Olokai down there. Because you have really good range. Looks like you're even... It says you're in range now. Which is crazy. Because of that height difference. Oh, this Olokai is getting shredded. Right, well, we might as well charge down the hill now, huh? Oh, there's no one... There's, there's, they're all dead. <laughs> they're all routing. I mean, the AI, the AI army's done everything. You guys fight them. You guys... We need to go kill them. Fire your javis, my friends. These Thorn Guardsmen. Let's bring them around this way. What a great spot this was, though. Wow. A glorious place. Oh, shoot those Temple Wards. They're a very good unit. Don't want to shoot the Olokai anymore. Shoot the Temple Wards. And Cavalry. Let's bring you to the pain time for the enemy. Well, that was quite fun, anyway. What? <laughs> Whatever the case was, it was pretty darn fun. Why are... Oh, that's not my archers good. I was going to say, why are the men firing at people I told them not to? Come on, fire at the temple wars, because you are armor-piercing, I believe. So, should be shredding these boys quite nicely. Looks like you are. Come on, everyone fire at them. And uh, the problem is the crossbows are so slow at firing. Here they come, more... What's going on? It's just AI. <laughs> just AI everywhere. Just just milling about. Right, let's go and have a go at the Gork Band. And, uh... Let's come forward. Go, 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 go! What do we have? Morgul chosen? Oh, okay. Let's uh, halt then. Get into your formation. Get the spear wall done. We should be able to just shred this orc band. Oh, dearie me. Poor orc band. Absolutely ruined. Right, let's go. Who else do we have then? We've got temple wards over here. Who else have we got back here? Not really anyone that's that good. Right, if we can get a good charge on the temple wards. They're not spearmen, so it shouldn't be too much of a worry. Come on, guys. Go charge. 
Charge! You idiots! What is that, man? I don't like that. Alright, let's get back. Back, 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 back! We're also getting shot by our own men, I guess. Did we kill all those Olokai now? Looks like there's a final one. Or is he dead? He's an invisible one! Where is he? He's invisible! Any of these guys mine? No, right, we'll bring the elves down then. Should be fine. Sauron's will. How are you guys doing? You guys are getting a bit shredded. Shouldn't be too bad though. Right, who have we got then to worry about? Temple wards? Oh, come on! Get out of there! I literally said get out of there. You're still fighting them. God's sake. There's apparently an Olakai in here somewhere. Does he highlight red? No. What is... Oh, it's because he is the Olakai general. So it still sees them as an Olakai, but he's actually <laughs> got the orc... <laughs> That's great. Right, where are you guys fight firing? Got to be careful of friendly fire here. Who are these? Oh, they're my guys. Where are the temple wars gone now? Oh my god! You're still fighting them, you idiots! Come on! Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, who? Where is their general? I actually haven't seen him. Oh, is the Temple Wards their general? I think so. That's another reason we don't want to be fighting them. God damn it, man. Right. Let's get you guys over here. Oh, they were uh, they were scared for a second there. They couldn't actually move. They were frozen in time. Yeah, fight these. Fight the Orc Maulers. Who else have we got? Got our elves coming down. Should be able to deal with them quite easily. Are we, have we killed the Olakai general yet? No, we have not. We have not. He's still absolutely shredding the men. Where even is he? I can't even tell him out. He just... <laughs> there he is. Whatever he does, he just batters loads of men. Come on, guys. Kill him. Why are you stopped firing? Did I tell you to stop? No. Fire at whoever you can. Even if it's the halberds. Still people. Right, let's get in the back of those. Kill Sauron's will. Literally kill Sauron at some point, hopefully, as well. Come on, guys. Come on. Kill this general. <laughs> He's so strong. Because he'll have more hit points for being a general. And the Olokai already have so many hit points. Oh, you did break the Thorn Guard. This charge should be a pretty darn nice one, though. Oh, my God. That is a tasty old charge. Tasty indeed. Right, back. Well, I think we need to start charging the Avari Naharim in slightly separately. In fact, they should probably just go and uh, deal with uh, routing troops. Because we don't want to have to deal with this army again. Fight them. Let's see, chase them. Right, let's go kill these Black Auric Halberds. Where are the Temple Wards? Oh dear, my my allied captain lies dead. There are the Temple Wards. You should go after them. Right, you guys fight them. There, finally! <laughs> the Olokai Orc has died. The genuine Orc that was an Olokai. That had the strength of an Olokai has died. What a man. What an orc, should I say. What a glorious orc. Uh, Avari Naharim, yeah, go after them. Uh, have we got anyone else to worry about? Let's kill the rest of these Sauron's will. And, uh, yeah. I mean, a pretty good situation here. Fire Javis into them. you still got plenty of Javis left as well. These poor elves are probably not going to have the strength to stand up to the uh, Sauron's will. But where... Is there anyone else running away? You guys might as well go after them. Everyone else kind of has run away already. It says 94, but that's, of course, not taking into consideration all the guys who have uh, run away already. All right, let's go. 
And we're going to charge the back of the temple wards. You guys find your last jabbies. Good. Come on. How many jabby, more jabbies do you have? The fact that we've played this entire battle and just sat back and that the, uh, the crossbowmen still haven't used all their ammo is just testament to how darn slow those poor crossbowmen fire. Incredibly slow. Incredibly slow. So, uh, let's get you guys there. Speed it up a bit now. Now we've got to kill the Temple Wards and a Nazgul, which we can't actually kill, but... We can at least charge. Uh, we can at least send him back to his master to tell his master that we are on the horizon and coming to Barador. Coming to a to a tower with a tower near you very, very soon. Uh, I'm assuming that's just like one guy. Anyone over here? Can't see them. Single black orc. That's fine. Right. Ah, oh, finally. I think it was... Was it Lagaran? Or was it Gan Alton? He's dead anyway. <laughs> Got another general about somewhere? There's our guys. There. So the the, uh, the temple wards are still not routing. Wow, they are... They have some m morale, don't they? Jeez. There he is. Right. Charge him. Uh, let's speed this up. They are brave. Wow. There we go. Fantastic. I mean, our AI ally did lose a lot more men. But we absolutely destroyed them. And also, it was pretty fun just firing from top of the hill. <laughs> so I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And of course, we are going to execute. As always... Looks like they both, like the, the enemies did fully die then, which is good. Well, we did kill their general, so uh, even if their general was a, uh, was a Oleg High. Right, let's uh, organize these armies then. We want archers first. Good job the archers didn't die very much because that would have been quite annoying. Let's then take two crossbowmen for now. And we'll see later. Also kind of want those Avari Spearmen in there in case they have Great Beasts. So let's get both units of those boys in there. Definitely a Great Beast killer. And then let's have a look. What do we have? We do have an Avari Warrior there. So let's get them in. Do we have another one? One single guy. Um, and then we probably want to start merging some of these boys up. So you get in there. You're pretty much full. Let's go with you two. You two Thorn Guard then. Let's get you in. And we've got ten left. So I'm thinking potentially if we get another Thorn Guard full. Yep, you. Let's get you in there. Three Thorn Guard seems to be a good a good number. Do you have another one there though? All right, let's get the Swordsman. Let's go with that. Two experience for these boys now. And one swordsman there. You're going to merge directly in. Get you. Two swordsmen. Then we want the Avari Naharim. So we've got s seven slots. We want one more infantry, really. Right, we're going to have to take a damaged boy then. Oh, we'll take you. 129 is not bad. So let's get the Avari Naharim in there. Do we have any of our in our home there? No. And then let's get these three. Although, let's get you in here just to replenish them. Replenish. Replenish. There we are. Fantastic. Wait, how have, <laughs> how have I worked that out wrong? <laughs> well, let's just get another crossbowman in there then. And we are going to march once again on Baradur. This time, hopefully, we win. <laughs> Don't really want to siege it down, because that was brutal, sieging it down. Don't know whether we've got the enough enough shock and awe with our troops to uh, siege it down properly. I mean, you could get a ballista. That would actually be quite good. But no, it's fine. Uh, right then, fantastic. Anyone else that needs moving? Movey, movey, move, move. 
No way you're there. You're there. Yes, Or just everyone's just on the edge of moving now. And I think we've built everywhere, haven't we? Yes. Fantastic. <gasps> Look at the trade going through the Sea of Rune. Wow. That is glorious. Rhubar seems to be a bit, you know, not too much. Naburka's getting an absolute fortune to it. Look how much is trading with Naburka. Is that because, does it have any special, special trader, uh, special trade things? Let's have a look at the settlement details. Uh, let's go to the trade tab. Yeah, just loads of C imports, not any C exports. Um... How about Mistran, though? Mistran, I mean, Mistran's making so much money, so... Not building browser, come on. I forget where all this stuff is uh, when you're so used to new stuff. Yeah, you're exporting an absolute load. Grain, ivory, textiles, loads of trade goods in Mistrand, which is causing us to make so much money here, which is fantastic. Well, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching. Two more episodes to go, and then we will be done. Uh, obviously, by that time, we will have taken the Black Gate, hopefully, <laughs> and Baradur, and pretty much be at the point where, you know, there's nothing else that Mordor or Dolgador can really do. Uh, I mean, Dolgador is just more annoying to fight than Mordor because there's just so many little stacks that they just pop around everywhere. So, very annoying nation to fight. Um... But yeah, Mordor, I mean, sieging them down at Barador and uh, the Black Gate should pretty much seal them off. I know they have probably taken Minas Tirith now, but, you know, they would uh, face death by me very, very soon if we uh, if we take Barador. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.